Hey guys, I'm Tess Pride and welcome back to my Let's Do Lover 100 Review Challenge Season 2, Episode 11? 12. Episode 12. Of course, you don't have to watch the first season, and so I hope you will continue on with us. But before we even jump into the episode, let me just say, please leave baby names down below. So I take them throughout the entire season, and the more there are, the better. So, we are here today with little <laughs> Luca, and he is eating a sandwich. I'm trying to make sure he eats it all, and also get up his uh, attention at the same time. And then after he eats, we'll finish his potty training. After we finish his potty training, if we get him up to a level two, we can actually age him up. So we might be able to age up in this episode. But he's really sad because he hasn't talked to anyone in a while, even though his attention is not that low. So, yeah. Hi, Zoe. You just came into frame. Oh, that's cute. Hold on, let me put the wall back up. That's a cute picture. Uh, talk about day. But hopefully in this episode we're going to be aging up the baby and him. Because it is the baby's birthday. I just haven't got the notification yet. But if we haven't got the notification by the time uh, he ages up, I'm just going to age him up anyways. Because as you can see on the calendar, it is his birthday today. Wait, no. His birthday today. My bad. I was on the wrong day. It is the baby's birthday today. Alexa is at school. She'll be home around 3. It's almost 1 o'clock now. Uh -huh. <clears throat> yes, he finished the plate. Thank you. Finally. Wait, why did you just pick it back up? Why? Why? It was in the perfect spot where I could throw it away. Now you're going to put it there. <sighs> okay. We need to finish this potty train. It's Cruz's birthday. It's about time it flies by, doesn't it? Alright, so potty help. So we did get the notification, thank goodness. But we need to train him to. That was a Wabbit tablet. There you go. You can put that there. I need the plate. I'm sorry to wish I put these trash cans in a better location. Is it's really annoying to get from the living room to there. But let's fast forward this. Uh, no. Why don't you do it? We need to potty train Luca. Because I want to age both of them up at the same time. And we will have to make a cake for that. So. And hopefully at the end of this, uh episode she will be able to give birth as well she is 10 hours away from being in her third trimester which in this series even when she's in her third trimester you can jump her right into labor as part of the rules you can see the rules down below if you don't believe me <laughs> yes she is kind of thirsty too is any of our family here no of course like when i need them to be here they're not <laughs> Uh, we'll just drink a plasma tie. Oh, and while he's, um, party training, I can sell all of this stuff. So, we're starting out here at $78,255. And we really need a lot of this stuff because we just lost, like, almost 10 grand. Or over 10 grand, actually. So, I'll let you know. Alright, so now that I sold out of that, we're at E2066. Um, and Alexa is still a B student, but she is home. Alright. Um, and then after she does that, I feel like he could use a little bit more potty training. Or unless he gets the skill, which he's almost there. He's almost at level 2. But Alexa, since you're still a B student, you need to grab some leftovers. And, oh, he is level two! Yay! Okay, we don't need to potty train him anymore. But oh no, we need we need the plasma type. Drink. We will drink those, and we will also come and bake a cake, cook, 
Um, we will make a hamburger cake because we haven't done that yet and that's the easiest cake to make. But she is going to go grab some leftovers and then uh, do her homework because she's in a pretty good mood so I'll let her do that. Um, I guess Luca can really- oh, he's a bath. Well, we'll just wait until the age is up and then make him shower. It's fine. <laughs> Zoe's already making the cake. I'm not going to stop her. The baby's in a good mood. Everything is alright right now. Oh, no, don't eat that. Oh, jeez. I didn't realize. I don't know where you got that, but let's not eat it, okay? Let's. I'll even let you clean that up. Clean up. Clean out... We'll be a girl and clean out spoiled food and then get leftovers. And this countertop is so dirty, it's not even funny. Oh my goodness. Zoe, after you uh, bake the cake, you can clean that up. Alright, so let's fast forward this until the cake is done. Okay, so she added birthday candles on the cake. My notification wall is full, so I'm going to uh, delete those. But you saw earlier that it is time for Cruz to age up as well. So I think we're going to age him up first since he's a baby and doesn't require the cake. And then we'll age up the toddler. So it is time to age this baby up. Super exciting. Alright, it's aging up! Alright, so since this is toddler it doesn't have aspiration, I can use just the randomized trait button. So I'm going to click it three times. One, two, three. And he is clingy! Alright. Oh my gosh, she's so cute! Oh my gosh, let's get a good look at him. He's making the pouty face, but it's okay. It's cute. Oh, he has black hair and brown eyes and a little bit tanner than Zoe. All right, but now let's um, help blow out candles, Luca. Luca, Luca. Oh, All right. Alright, now it is time to age up the baby! Fast forward a little bit. We should check the mailbox because we've been getting gifts like crazy and I haven't checked any That's of them another? yet. Uh, not a good time, Autumn. Not a good time. <laughs> oh. Let's get this picture. The baby aging up. Oh. Okay. And all right. So since there is a uh, aspiration involved, I have to go to crayrandomsim.com in this as it'll be slash child, and I'm just gonna press uh, ra randomize. And we got a whiz kid that's a hot head. Ooh, hot headed. That's not fun. But he is a mermaid, so that that's interesting. Luca, uh, what was it? <laughs> uh, whiz kid. Okay, there we go. Whiz kid. Bam. All right. So I say let's give these two a little bit of a makeover.
right, everyone's here and taking a piece of cake. Alexa will when she finishes her homework. Um, and I'm gonna have them focus on their skills. So she just needs to get her creativity skill up, which I can do with playing with the dollhouse like a million times. <laughs> That's just the easiest way. Uh, play dolls, play dolls. How's her knees? Yeah, her knees are good. So she can just play dolls. He although needs a shower, so I'm gonna um, claim his bed and get him to take a shower. And then after that, I think I'm going to have him uh, probably play chess. Uh, play chess. Oh, he didn't finish his cake. He could finish his cake. That would have been fine. Uh, and she can have a piece of cake then. Where is he? Where did you put that? Why you gotta put the play over there? Like, why, Cruz? Why? I knew that's what he was doing. Alright. There we go. There's 30 more dollars. Okay, everyone's good. So, Zoe, I think I'm gonna have you go paint a bunch of stuff. As, as we need that extra money. So, we will... I'm gonna... Have her max out paying, landscape paying, um, ag chat paying large, um, a pop art painting large. We'll do a uh, surreal painting large, and a realism painting large. All right. I think the toddler can keep care of himself. Let's see what what can you do to have fun? Oh, he's doing it. He's going. And no, 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 it's fine. Go ahead and crawl through. Alyssa finished her homework. All right, awesome. I'm not gonna have her do extra credit work yet because she mainly just needs to get her skill. If she can get her skill up to level four, then I feel like she will be aging up in the next episode or so. Which means we'll have our first teenager! Like, oh my god! <sighs> you are gonna play chess to get your skills up. How is the painting coming? Alright. Oh, look how cute he is! Oh my gosh! Can I, whoa! I'm, uh, wow, I'm struggling super bad. I just want to get a picture of you in the top. Oh my gosh. Okay. But I think I, I'm going to fast forward. I'm probably going to have her finish her skill and then put them to bed. Uh, no, I don't. Oh, actually, I forgot to check the mail. Luca, you can do that real quick because that's going to make us some mega money. So, uh, you... Oh yeah, it has to be Zoe. Of course it has to be Zoe. I guess I'll just do it another time because I, I'm not getting her to stop painting. So like I said, I'm going to get Alexa's uh, skill up and put them all to bed. And then I'll meet you guys back when Haley is in labor. Alright guys, Zoe is in her third trimester which means I can cheat her into... Uh, pregnancy, but first I want, or labor, but first I want to uh, sell all these. This is actually a masterpiece, so it's over a thousand dollars. Um, also gonna sell that, sell that. I think I'm actually gonna keep this one because I thought this one was really cool. So we're going to uh, frame that. How much is that? It's only 543, so we'll keep it. Yes, we want to sell the masterpiece. But isn't this cool? I, I freaking love this painting. And this painting that she's going to sell here of the dead cow plant is really cool too. I was debating on which one I want to keep. I almost kept both, but no, the cow plant should go because it's, it's going to give us almost a thousand dollars. 
All right, so let's MC command center this shit and uh, get her into labor. And this is a part of the rules that I can do this. Like the rules are already down below if you don't think I'm playing by the rules. But she's in labor. And why is the Edward scissor hands here? Like, okay, first we gotta go meet Edward scissor hands. Uh, do a friendly introduction. Because we already moved Johnny Depp. We got, I have like four or five versions of Johnny Depp, like Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, uh, well, like Wonka Factory, Edward Scissorhands. I feel like we should um, play w with all of them and have have babies with each one of them. That I think that would be a really cool idea. So let's go ahead and introduce ourselves to him. But we're not going to have a baby with him right now. We're just going to have the baby in the episode. So let's have that baby! Baby, 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 baby! Oh my, I should get a picture of her like this. Tabs. Like, right over the carriage. Come on. Oh yeah, that's a good picture. Alright, we're having another baby! And is it a boy or a girl? Is it a boy or a girl? I need to know. I need to know. It's a boy! Oh my god, I'm so tired of having boys. Oh... Okay, but I'm just going to choose the most recent uh, uh, name suggestion, and that is from Bexter Wicket. Love that. Total Once Upon a Time fan. I'm seeing the reference. And his boy name suggestions were Cosmo, Morgan, Sable, and Clive. I think I'm going to go with Sable because I think that's a really cool name. So, I will put the name suggestion right here. Alright, so you got to see that. I want to make sure everyone saw it because I like to get show a picture of the name suggestion. And we have our new baby boy! It might be a vampire because I saw it. See, there it is. That little vampire plus. That means, it, it, like, I thought that meant it was a vampire. Because that's what Alexa did, and she was at the hospital, so I know it wasn't from the lady line trait. But yeah. Oh, look at the baby! Look at him! Oh my god, I gotta get this picture. It's so cute. Oh, having another baby. All right. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. There's been a lot going on in this episode. So thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and do all that awesome stuff because you guys are awesome people. I'll see you next time. All right. Bye.